This week we turn a cheap umbrella into a miter saw dust hood. So let's clear something up right away. This is not going to be a highly refined commercial quality piece of engineering. It's crazy talk. It will, however, be a quick and easy solution to a miter saw dust problem, and it will actually work. Did you get that memo? Stick with us for the build. I bought this Delta miter saw and did a review on it a couple of years ago, but the sawdust vacuum collection port really stinks and the sawdust sprays everywhere. Quick analysis, cuts great, leaves a mess. I found this universal hood design and I kind of liked it, but then I saw the price tag. <whistles> I think we can come up with our own inexpensive design. I thought I could use the slick tight fabric from an umbrella and even make use of the metal ribs for part of my solution. This $6 golf umbrella I found at Home Depot made for a good donor. And if things didn't work out, it was only six bucks. First, I needed to deconstruct the umbrella, cutting all the threaded ties between the fabric and the steel ribs. But then I had to untwist the wire that held the ribs together. Cutting the material away from the shaft at the top, the black fabric was then completely removed. The metal ribs needed to be pulled off the binding wire and we'll need eight ribs in total for this project. We won't need these smaller cross brackets, so it was easy enough to snip them off. It's important to note the U-shaped structure of the ribs for a later step. I measured up some quick dimensions from my saw and then found a scrap piece of maple I could use to combine two sets of ribs together for a longer span. These are simply drilled out with a small bit to allow for support of each steel rib. It's important at this point to make sure all the ribs are facing down, side by side, the same way. Now let's move over to the base. Each miter saw brand will be shaped differently, so my dimensions and cut pattern are probably not gonna match your saw. But the goal is to allow enough room on the left and right side so that you can turn the saw to the 45 degree setting and still catch sawdust. This base was designed to fit my saw setup against the back wall of my workbench. Show him the curve! The two sets of ribs bend nicely, just like they do on an umbrella. Again, make sure the open edges of the ribs are pointing down to bend along the solid edge on top. The ribs needed to be fit into the same size small holes on the base, so they needed to be drilled in. I have two guns, one for each of you. Hot glue worked really well in this build, taking a firm grip on the wood and the steel ribs. I chose to shorten the back set of ribs by cutting an inch off both ends. The back hoop will sit a little bit lower on the frame.
Now it was time to engineer the dust collection part of our experiment. I had a small leftover piece of 3 inch drain pipe, though 4 inch pipe would have been a better match for my 4 inch dust collection hose. I also cut a 3 inch round plug for one end of the pipe out of a scrap piece of plywood. It was hot glued in place, as was the adapter piece to bring up the pipe diameter up to 4 inches to match my dust collection hose. The pipe will fit off the right side of the base by about an inch and a half to allow for hookup of the collection hose. With a one and a quarter inch Forstner bit, I drilled in a pattern of larger holes to allow for good air movement inside the hood. I also drilled in smaller screw holes to allow a way to attach the pipe to the base. Let's move on to the fabric. I cut across the width of the fabric, but one panel down from the middle, leaving about a 60-40 split of material. To hide the cut edge, I hot glued a seam together by folding the material over, trying not to burn my hands in the process, but of course, I did. You can see the bigger of the two panels was just a little too small, so I extended the fabric by hot gluing the extra material onto the panel. In the end, this turned out to be enough to wrap around the bottom of the base. A little more hot glue was added to secure the fabric to the top and the sides of the ribs. Without pulling too hard, the material was wrapped around the bottom of the base and stapled into place. Of fast and loose. You say you don't have the time to fix your miter saw dust problem? Well, we've got a solution that's fast, loose, and cheap. Come get some! Woo! <laughs> okay, I don't know who that guy was, but let's never speak of him again. Time for the first real test. The base was fitted against the wall and the miter saw was moved back into position. I've got a high volume two stage dust collection system in place and pulled the flex hose over to the saw. The saw will actually swivel to cut 45 degrees on both sides, and the dust collection actually seems to work pretty well, only with a little leakage visible on the sides. If you watch closely, you can see the dust circling in the air as it gets pulled into the suction pipe. This is a little better view, as the sawdust sprays up and back, but lands within the hood. Most of it gets pulled into the pipe. The little bit that I'm losing on the sides can be remedied with an added apron to the left and right to keep the dust inside the hood. For me, this was a really cheap project, but definitely a low-cost one for everyone. I am really pleased with my little experimental solution because it works great. Hey everybody, thanks very much for watching and I hope you subscribe to our channel. Take care.